Hello! In this video, I will show how to scan your assignments with a phone and submit them into Gradescope as a student. I use the app Genius Scan on my phone to scan my work. It's free, it's available on iOS and on Android. You'll want to download it and then open it up. You'll click on the photo icon in the bottom right to start your scan. You'll want to put your sheet of paper on a flat surface and then hold your phone above it. It'll recognize the edges and then it'll auto scan that page. If I have another sheet of paper, I will now take that and bring it onto my flat surface, hold my phone above it. It'll auto scan that page. And then let's say I have some more work on the back side. I'll flip it over and I will scan that. It'll auto scan it again. All right, it's auto scanned it. When I'm done, I click on this check mark in the bottom right corner and I have all of my pages here. So if I click on one of the pages, I can inspect it to make sure it was showing up not blurry because maybe if it was blurry, I want to do the scan again. I can also click on the buttons at the bottom if I need to rotate it in case the orientation was off when I scanned my work. If I click on the three dots in the top right corner, it'll let me reorder the pages if they were out of order for some reason. Let's go ahead and rename our document now. So I'll call this homework. Maybe I'll add my name to it. And then when I'm done and ready, I will click on this icon to save the uh, file as a PDF. That's important. Gradescope will require that you submit a PDF into it. It's just much better as a PDF. And then you'll want to email it to yourself, like maybe use the Gmail icon or whatever your mailing app is to email this PDF to yourself. Next, you'll download your scanned work and you'll go to Gradescope. For our class, you can do that by going to Camino and then clicking on Gradescope in the navigation bar. You're going to find the assignment that you are hoping to submit. You can see how much time is left before it's due here on the right. If late submissions are accepted, you'll see when that due date is. So I'm going to click on my homework assignment. I want to select the submit PDF option. You could also do submit images, image files, but I find it a whole lot faster to upload by submitting a single PDF rather than multiple image files. So I'm going to su select submit PDF. I will find my file and then I will upload that PDF. It'll take a few seconds for that to process depending on how many pages I have it had in my submission. And the last step, and this is very important, is to select which page each of these problems is on. So there were five problems in this assignment template. So if I, if I was unsure, whoops, I could click on the zoom in button and I see oh, problem one is on this page. So I will click on problem one and then click on this page. And now the check mark is indicated, okay, yeah, P1, problem one is on that page. So the next page has problems two, three, and four. So I can click on problem two, click on that page, click on problem three, click on that page, click on problem four, click on that page. The other way to do that, if I, if, if I made a mistake and I want to unselect it, I could just click all of these X's and it would unselect them. If I wanted to do this a little bit more quickly, what I could do is I could hold shift and select multiple problems. So now all three of those problems are selected and now I could tell, oh, all of those click on this page. All of those are on this page. Problem four for me is actually split up. Part of it is on this page. Part of it is on the next page and that may happen. Okay. So for problem four, I also need to tell it, okay, this is also on this last page. Okay. Yeah. So now I've done it. So problem four is on both my second page and it's on my third page. All right. So now for my last problem, click on it click on that page it's on. Okay, so now I have matched all of the problems to the pages that they are on and I am ready to submit. All right, it'll tell me that I will have received a confirmation email that my work got submitted. It's always a good idea to look in your email, make sure you got that confirmation email to make sure everything was uploaded just fine. Okay, if I need to resubmit my assignment, I can click on this resubmit button and I can resubmit it as many times as I want to up until the due date. 